And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. The first ever, first ever official live bonfire, everybody. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Huh? What about our year anniversary? No, this is live over the air. I'm dumb. <laughs> I was like, dude, we were live. We were totally live. Dummy. This is our second time doing this, idiot. <laughs> this uh, is why stoners should never get into politics. <laughs> it is the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. Big oh. J. Okerson. Dan Soder. We're doing the show. So yes, you actually it's happening. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> what? What did you do? Did you ask it? Sometimes smoking pot before the show is a good thing. <laughs> Sometimes, Sometimes you forget you're live. <laughs> you forget you're also doing a radio show. That was my real this is Matrix moment where I was like, oh, we're what? also doing radio. <laughs> Wait, people hear this away from here? <laughs> Hey, everyone outside of this room. Yeah. You guys can get the full experience tonight. We have to do live reads and the whole thing. Yeah. This is going to be, you're going to really see the nuts and bolts. You're going to really see Lou push buttons. <laughs> Why don't we introduce the crew since we're starting out here, everybody. Of course, we have a Jacob is over there in the Where's corner. Where's Jacob? He, he lurks in the shadows. <laughs> Hey, everyone, it's me. Don't fall asleep or I'll take everything. <laughs> <laughs> Merc face just went under the light to be seen, you piece Show of shit. Show your face, Merc face. <laughs> Clap it up for Andy Fiore. Thank you. The, uh, the lovely Christine is farting around somewhere. Where's Christina? <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm telling you, man, it's, slow, it's quickly becoming my favorite drop. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. up there with Samantha Montavani. <laughs> Samantha Montavani. He talked about Samantha Montavani. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, has no idea how much she's a part of this show. She really... Um, she's, she has no she's clue. She's woven into our DNA. And, uh, not, neither Janessa nor Samantha Montavani. Man, i got to put idea. some of my old crushes over. Yeah. We've got to get Amanda Gott in the mix. Um, we got to get Amanda Gott. <laughs> We, uh, of course, have to give a nice intro to the uh, man behind the wheels of steel over there, DJ Lou Witzke. Because people have got to know they're presidents of Trump. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you, to quote Kevin Durant, you're the real MVP. Dude, if you're like, who made that sick ass mix? And then you just see Lou, you're like, that dude? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I didn't ask who fixed the pipes. <laughs> yeah. I said, who did the cool computer thing? He's a, Lou looks like a dive bar fly. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, run, I used to run numbers in the 80s. Yeah. Okay, Lou. Hey, he's home just scratching and mixing. Yeah. He looks like he's got a problem with the ponies. Oh. <laughs> Lou still watches a VHS of the movie Juice. So he fucking... <laughs> but he, he just puts it on his background noise. <laughs> yeah, while he works at his own sick-ass beats. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. Part Lou, of that was awesome. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Lou, Lou are you going to have any drinks tonight? Oh, yeah, we should get Lou busted up on this one. Yeah, right? Wait. I think the brass is here tonight. <laughs> Even better. Show what, can, show what this guy can do. Let's kick these guys. <laughs> yeah. You want to see how good of a producer we got? Let's get him hammered. Yeah. What you think about replacing Lou? Yeah. This guy can work soggy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that? It's going down on New Year's? Send in Lou. He's Rambo. <laughs> He's alcoholic Rambo. He really kept going. It, it was perfect. It was such a bummer because he got fucked, and I was like, okay, which oh. is more of a say about me. To be honest, for those of you who d couldn't see what his face looked like, I thought I was going to get a cheek kiss. By Lou? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, Lou was like... I leaned in at the end. I was like, all right, go, Lou. Yeah, he was like your girlfriend's uncle fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she really cares about you. <laughs> yeah. I don't get to talk to her. She's my only niece. So. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's been stealing her. All barbecue. I feel. You know what's funny? I feel like uh, 
with these badges everybody got, they're supposed to be like VIP, but fucking everybody got a badge. <laughs> There's no specialness to having that badge at all whatsoever. Yeah, we talked about it. We're like, oh, yeah, people are still at work right now. Yeah, I was worried about the back of the room not being full, but we did ask a lot of fucking people who work yeah. until, you know, nine to five people. To and get, what do they the tell dungeon. their bosses? <laughs> yeah. All right, there's two stoners. <laughs> Corey Feldman hates them. <laughs> yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> Boss is like, I'm a Lost Boys guy. No, you're already done. You're staying until 8. Oh, the felt, the felt dog don't like him? I don't like him. Yeah. Words to live by. Oh. Fucking You're such threat. He hates us. It's threat. official. You guys know it. I've never seen... Uh, it's weird doing a radio show while someone's eating like a full meal in front of us. It's like a... <laughs> That is odd. Yeah, you kind of realize why radio is what it is. Yeah. In a studio. It's supposed to be us in a room going, that's right, Jay. And then they're like, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It's like theater of the mind. And yeah. someone's like, I mean, really ripping into a chicken wing drumstick <laughs> is maybe the funniest motion to have happen while you're trying to be funny. Because yeah. if they have to go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's some of a bitch it, silly. It feels vaudevillian. It, does, it really like, does. You want to go to dinner theater and watch the idiots perform? <laughs> I'm the tall one. <laughs> it's me, your stout friend. Hey. <laughs> oh, Stout J, what a cool name. There's no strings on me. Stout J would have taken me so much further through the black circuit. <laughs> oh, my God. You'd be Stout J. <laughs> oh, I would have hosted a season of Comic View. Oh. With those Stout J. There would have been a lot of neon suits in your future. Could you imagine, dude, just wearing Steve Harvey suits doing comedy like that? I don't understand suit comedy in general for the life of me. I could understand possibly being on stage that uncomfortable. Yeah, I just sweat through it. No one's comfortable in a suit. It doesn't I think, exist. I think the level of evil in you has to be a certain amount where you're like, power. Like, I feel white guys put on suits and they're like, power. I know there, there is I can that. Feel it coursing through me. There's the mental thing of feeling good in a suit, but like actually feeling comfortable in a suit is impossible. I watch because now whenever I see myself on anything TV at all, all I look at is yeah, my fucking we, dumb we fat do, pile of tires that I am. So we have to do live posture. Yeah. Hey everyone. I feel like we're both meerkats. Yeah, tits out. <laughs> Just two gargoyles doing comedy for each other. Um, I hate prize the, poodles. I think. I, I look at all of like the, the folds and little crinkles in my shit yeah. like, when I watch stuff. So I look for other people in that too. And I was watching a uh, real time with Bill Maher this week. Yeah. And like he's always in a suit. And at the beginning, they sit down in like short chairs. Okay. And just two dudes in suits. It's just the weirdest fucking look. Like there's pants does it look go like, way up. Does it look like in movies where the dad tries to have a tea party with his daughter and he just got home from work? Oh yeah. Where he's like, hey, well, who's that? <laughs> Do you want me to feed the lily? Yeah. Oh, then they always have like suit nuts. You know what I mean? That kind of polyester nut smell. Dude, I'll tell you this, man. Right behind basketball shorts for boning up in your pants, suit pants. Yeah? That's how white trash I am. I also call them suit pants. <laughs> yeah. They're not I, slacks. I call, I call them dress pants yeah. like I'm fucking eight. Hey, y'all want to go with your suit pants? <laughs> I don't have any dress pants. I can't go to the dance. Are there pants? Are there, are there uh, underwear or pants that do that for women? The way basketball shorts kind of make a dude's dick? Wet them up? Yeah. Is there wet them up pants? Yeah. I bet if, it, uh, I bet if the thong starts skirt? giving you a, a skirt. Yeah, we can ask these Who's questions. We don't Who's need it? callers Hang that, on. that ramble on for 30 minutes. No, no, no. We have real people who we can see if you're a man or a woman. I can look you dead in the eyes. <laughs> so, oh wait, but you yelled out skirt? Yeah, that was my daughter. Uh, don't, don't even answer, dude. I don't want to know the, I think she was just yelling out a word. I don't want her explanation. I go, oh, the sensual woman in the back? <laughs> it's my child. She's like, ah. <laughs> Who's the erotic writer in the back of the room? <laughs> Ooh, who just purred out that answer? <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's my dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, on to how you shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> a skirt, a skirt. See, I, don't, I couldn't see how that's possibly an answer. Yeah. Sweatpants. What's up with the opiate addict over there? <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn out here a little bit. Yeah, put on silk PJs or some comfy Michigan State pants. Sweatpants. Sweatpants get you going? Camel show. 
A dildo? Wait, but you're saying, like, if you're saying the way, like, when we lay around in basketball shorts and out of nowhere it can get us turned on, if you're laying around in sweatpants... Like it, a... A good pair of sweatpants, I think. Like, I got a good pair of lounge pants that kind of do the job. Oh, do when, we do? When, so wait, so when you, guys go, when you guys, <laughs> when when you you guys go out and... You, so right when you get home, does your, does your boyfriend go, put on your lounge pants? <laughs> wait, you know what? I just realized what's going on here completely, by the way. This is all bullshit. What? She likes to wear sweatpants that he hates. Yeah, around the He's house. Right there, we can ask him. Yeah, so she's going. So she's going like, no, they get me all wet. And he goes, yeah, well, they smell like carpet. Uh, yeah, they look so stupid. Oh, cool. Well, I get soft as a baby when you put them on. <laughs> so, wait, now your boy. This is this your boyfriend or husband? Boyfriend. Okay. What do you think of her lounge pants? Uh, they they gotta have the right. The ones with the right mustard stain are the best ones. Do you have a, a particular mustard stain? Does she Man, not you guys wash into, them? You guys are into some kinky or lazy shit. Well, I mean, in fairness, that girl is wearing a neckerchief. I don't know if yeah. you can see that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's a lanyard. Okay. It's a thought... lanyard. That's okay, too. I thought, no, let me tell you where I thought I fucked up. I'm like, does that girl have a tracheotomy yeah. and I'm fucking making fun of her? I, I thought she may have had a tracheotomy. <laughs> They get me so wet. You yeah. yeah, heartless prick. <laughs> so is, it, is that for like so Sunday gay. fucking or is that weekday fucking? I don't know. Like at the end of the day, I let, they're, they're tight sweatpants. They're not like shitty sweatpants. No, you're not rocking hammer pants? No, no, no. They're, they're tight sweatpants. He doesn't complain about them. Oh, well, have, you, have you had a girlfriend who's had the I don't give a shit anymore pants? Um, I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. I'm not saying that's your pants. I'm <laughs> saying... Some tries to fight Jack. You're saying they're sexy. I didn't yeah. say that. <laughs> hey. Hey, fuck face. Oh. I'll crawl right through this radio. <laughs> because they're about to have a blood stain on them now. <laughs> <laughs> These pants are going to turn on my boyfriend because your blood's going to be on. <laughs> the blood of the man who crossed me. Now get over here and munch some box. I remember... Uh, I remember when I had a pair of pajama pants that I used to wear when I was when I dated Nikki Glazer. I answered the door in them, and she looked at me and she goes, "Absolutely not." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought she was kidding, and she's like, "No, I'm, I'm serious. Never wear those around me again." Oh, Christine. Uh, yeah, this guy. What? I don't Christine. know what that means. Christine. That was almost a basketball coach heckle. Christine. <laughs> Christine has uh, horrible sweatpants that I hate. I always tell them they're fine, but Christine, where are you? Show yourself, Christine. Um, uh, oh, there you are. Can you can we get a mic to Christine? She goes, "You look cute," and I'm like, "You look like a karate teacher." I do. I do look like a karate teacher, but I don't like the ones that come in at the end, so they kind of flare out, and yeah, I, they're just not cute. You don't yeah. like them even. No, not any. I mean, they do not give a shit. Once, pants. once you have your boyfriend tell you that something looks stupid, it's hard to like it. I used to have teal pants I liked too. <laughs> Soder. Well, Soder. I mean, I'm going to go sight on scene and call those dumb. Soder. Soder. Teal jeans. Yeah, cool. you teal be, jeans. Be what are you going to a fucking <laughs> quinceanera? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's going to be selling stepped on blow at a roller rink. Oh. Uh. Carla, me and Carla were together so long. She went to like the shorts that like they had like a, like a, like a moth gangbang on them, and like so like a, like one of my sweatshirts, which is the worst thing ever. That's when they just go, I don't care. I want to, yeah. What is the worst? I don't care. So that's the worst. I don't care pants you've seen. Yeah, Carla's moth attack shorts, <laughs> and wearing like one of my sweatshirts, which you know just goes down to like the, everything. Just looks like yeah. It's like, what, what did you just get done watching a Daria marathon or something? <laughs> Just staring at a rain cloud and wanting to put these on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of my biggest don't give a shit were those. Do you have no don't give a shit pants? Yeah, when I, if I walk around in front of you naked, I don't give a shit. <laughs> if I'll sit down and put socks on while I'm not wearing underwear in front of you, I want to break up. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't break eye contact with Christine? What's up? How does yeah. this all look? She's really folded up. It's just pulled back in the, in the bag. <laughs> Putting on socks, spraying on Tanactin. Just everything's wrong. 
Just being an old man. Yeah. Socks go on first. Yeah. Hey, hand me the gold bond. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Stand over a towel. Yeah, I don't think I've ever reached that level of don't give a shit with a girlfriend. The most embarrassed I've been was I got a uh, rash on my taint five years ago. It was when I went to Montreal in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and I was drinking so much I just kept itching it. And then I was at my mom's house, and that was the most embarrassed where she had to draw me a bath of Epsom salt so I could put soak your, my uh, taint rash. Did, put your, uh, did it work? Did it soothe it? Yeah, but I felt like an idiot. I just had my soft dick in the bathtub. There's no bubbles or anything. My mom's just like, Trish is like, ah, there should be enough salt in there. I'm like, look away, woman. I can't do a bath. I mean, it's just a, it's a ridiculous goofy. looking thing. You want soft man. dick dangle around in a bath. Oh, my God, yeah. Just, <laughs> just like little worm, just little worm food. It's like zero G. <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero G soft dick. <laughs> It's just floating around. Yeah, like you the when you did the float tank, did you flip over your belly at all? I'd no, think. did you? Yeah. You're not. I don't think. What, you just laid it to I didn't go face into it. I kept my head up. So, so I told how, you I played in the thing wait, the whole time. Do I was doing crazy like. I feel like you're supposed motion. to meditate. I, I couldn't. You I get my own head it gets ugly. I don't know what's going on in my head. Could be like Westworld in there. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> So you're a bunch of big soft dong? <laughs> yeah. The robots are turning on me. <laughs> no, I just listened to music and, like, floated. Dude, for a fuck... For, dude, I was over 300 pounds most of my life. I mean, like, floating is such a crazy concept to me. <laughs> no one's ever jokingly Wait, picked me up in the sink? air. Huh? You used to sink? No, I didn't sink. I'm not a fucking... What are you, a witch in Salem? I'm ultimate... <laughs> I'm just completely dense. My yeah. body is just... Comp There's an old Massachusetts town putting on trial for being a warlock. <laughs> no, but, you know, fat guy Put in water. him in the river! If he swims, he's one of us! <laughs> if not, we burn him! <laughs> I mean, it's like Wawa. <laughs> he goes, is he kicking his feet? Is he kicking his feet? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I didn't know. No, I don't drop like a fucking rock, but I mean, like you know, I'm I'm a big guy, so it's like you know, just like my like nips and chin are out of the water. I won't die. You, you like do you like to get a nice nip and chin float? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm a big target for a shark coming under the water. It's mostly body down there. Yeah. Can we just call my it, nips yeah, and head you're, above you're water? Icebergen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, sure, sure, you see his nipples, but that's only the smallest part. <laughs> Draw out, show under the water. Uh, oh! But, but in that salt water, you really zero G when you're uh, done that one, dude. That's just going yeah, up. That's, I, that's like slow banging into your own belly a little bit. I'll tell you this. I stayed on my back. If you, We're talking about our buddy Russ owns a flotation filly, which is a flotation like deprivation tank. And, uh, we both so, you said like you should never pay for anything that starts off with deprivation? It's an oxygen deprivation. <laughs> yeah. Also, know, also known as erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> yeah. You come, but you almost die. But you lay in this tank that's completely dark, and you're supposed to, like, let your mind wander, but Jay just splashed around. Did you think about knocking one out? Totally. <laughs> 40, it's a it's a 90 minute float around minute 60 I was like this because it, it kind of gets humid in there yeah and it gets like you know you're like all right Lucy goose I'm all salty and warm and your your bag if you if you frog your legs your bag's just laying on top of the water <laughs> it looks like uh over easy eggs <laughs> that'd be great if you had a girlfriend to open the to open the hatch door and you go eggs are ready <laughs> 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 two, two over easy eggs and one sausage. Pick them up and drop it so it blips. <laughs> it's an awake. But I almost think you did the smartest thing because Gary Veter and I floated and I like really tried to like let my mind wander. And it kind of that. fucking scrambled some shit for about 48 hours. Yeah, I didn't want to come out of it like not okay. I, I wasn't to... okay. Yeah, I believe you. And it's you. like one of those things where you get punched and you try to act like it doesn't hurt. And I was talking to Russ and he's like, hey, how'd you like it? I was like, uh-huh. And then Gary went and I, we went and ate silent cheesesteaks. We just sat there eating our sandwiches after we floated. Like something bad had happened. That's terrible. That's not a good commercial. Not me, dude. I had a oh, war, I liked it. I had the, the war end. drugs album on and I was doing this. 
Like literally just so that's what you, you know. If you want to, again, if you want to half lose your mind, do it the way I do. And if you want to splash around like an idiot, do it like Jay did. But whichever way you play it, mark my words, you will think about jerking off. Yeah. You will absolutely think about <laughs> Either it. Either way, you're going to want to touch I it. I got worried about salt in my pee hole. The, oh, I was only worried about salt in my... Salt in your pee hole? How loose is your pee hole? You know, if, we, if you masturbated. Like, oh, if you opened up? Yeah, because your hand goes over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come like that dinosaur in Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could jot down the words of that pain, it would be 52 S's and then three T's. <laughs> I just got word that our our first guest got here. Our oh, fucking very, big very guest. exciting. Oh, yeah, slide over, Soder. I will. I'm going to have to slide over. Is there oh, no, you know what? Coffee? You know what? What? I think we should let, let our guest sit in the middle, maybe. I'm going to come all the way over there. Hey. <laughs> hey, live people. What happened, radio? No one knows. Do we have our papers? Do we have our papers we need? Uh, we have do we have? Papers? We have. I mean, we this is. You guys got to understand, while we get the papers from Christine, this we'll explain to you guys. If you listen to the show consistently, you know the last month uh, has been ripe with tension with uh, Corey Feldman and the Angels. This is exciting. This we is really out, exciting. Uh, we put out all of our tentacles, if you will. Corey Feldman flat out refused to be associated with the show. He said he would, uh, he's not even willing to accept apologies anymore. We found two of the Angels at a rehabilitation center in Malibu. They signed a non-disclose agreement, so they can't be on. However, he has a son named Zen. Yeah. He's got a 10-year-old son. Yeah. Now, <laughs> due to laws in the state of New York, <laughs> we were not allowed to contact him. <laughs> However, we did consult a lawyer. Through back channels, we have discovered that Corey Feldman actually has a 15-year-old son as well that he had with the first angel who died during childbirth. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the bonfire, Corey Feldman's 15-year-old son, Corey III. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, Corey 3, it's very nice to meet you. Corey 3, this is very, very big. Dan and Jay, so nice to meet you, and thank you for having me on the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to uh, we wanted to extend an olive branch to the Feld fam to kind of bridge up what had happened in the past month. So the fact that you would come out to New York City, the fact that you would come to the Village Underground during the... New York Comedy Festival. It is a. <laughs> it's a really. I'm digging the glove. I'm digging the glove. I mean. I love it. <laughs> inspired by Michael Jackson, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's inspired we, by Michael Jackson. We have you for very limited time because, of course, this is a live show, which I've learned. Come to find out. Come to turns out this is a live radio show. So we're gonna we have some questions that we've prepared with uh, the staff. We had some campers help out. So really the first question is, can you walk us through a day in Feld Manor? I would love to. Every morning I wake up at five AM, Feld Dad wakes us up. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I... I'm sorry. Fell Dad? Well yeah, you guys have a regular dad, I have a fell dad. Well, I mean, speak for yourself. We are the sons of Gary. We've never actually yeah. had dads. But, uh, okay, so how does Feld Dad wake you up? Uh, at 5 a.m., he blares through the home speakers the national anthem. Wait. <laughs> the Star Spangled Banner. That's, that's pretty, that's what? pretty patriotic. What? No. I don't know that song. Ascension Millennium, baby. The <laughs> national anthem. <laughs> now, I don't... That's not, that's not the national anthem. At all. It's... Well, I, Feld Dad tells me that Feld Manor is a sovereign nation. We don't adhere to your laws, <laughs> criminal or tax. 
<laughs> sovereign nation. Okay, you don't so, hear yeah, our law. You're so, your own. Okay. So we're not protesting here against the Swashbuckle Banner. I don't think so, but we do take a knee during the Today Show if that means anything to you. <laughs> That makes sense. I mean, I there's a that. lot of, yeah, that, that show really scarred your family. I so get I that. Can't. I get that. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead, continue with your day, Corey 3. Then it's feed time. <laughs> Breakfast is a cupped handful of fresh juice, and me and some of the angels fight for a gluten-free bagel. <laughs> Have you ever had a gluten-free bagel? Have I ever? I don't, no, I've never had a gluten-free bagel. I'm, yeah, never. It'll make you wish you were molested by Hollywood bigwigs. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Moving forward. Wow. Moving forward. I've that never sounds... heard anyone describe food like that. <laughs> uh, what happens after breakfast? Then I go to school. Wow. Do you go to public school or private school? Uh, University of Corey, Feld Manor campus. <laughs> go, mighty hamsters! <laughs> That's uh, the goddamn joy he says it with. <laughs> He's a proud kid. He is. He's proud. He takes right after dad. So, okay, so I'm taking it you're homeschooled. Hame-schooled. <laughs> <laughs> I watch old Corey Hame movies for my lessons. Everything you need to know to navigate this crazy world can be seen in the classic film, Dream a Little Dream 2. Oh. So the sequel's got all the pearls. All right, so what's the rest of your day? After I fill up my felt brain with knowledge, it's time for practice. Wait, Corey 3, you, you play a sport? Sports? <laughs> no. Corey's Angels practice. Oh. oh. I didn't know that you were in the band. Technically, I'm not. I'm there to check out all the new trim Fell Dad picked up at the bus station. <laughs> if it's top quality, we throw them in, in percussion and see how they pan out. <laughs> also, I ghostwrite 80% of the lyrics. Really? Really? <laughs> I mean, just the good stuff. But it's fun. So, I mean, that's a pretty packed day. What are the nights like at the Feld Manor? Dinner is the best. The angels and I put our hands behind our backs and our mouths on the edge of the table. Then Feld Dad releases tofu balls and we play Hungry Hungry Angels. Sounds like a fun way to have dinner. That's fucking awesome. That what sounds you, great. That sounds unbelievable. What do you do after dinner? It's getting late. We're only 12 hours away from Ascension Millennium kicking ass through the house speakers. <laughs> I brush my teeth. I, I try to get into my bedroom before a fell dog wheels out the Nas tanks and goes to plow town on these confused <laughs> runaways. That's a hell of a day. That's a big That's day. A, and I, I want to thank you so much for being here, first yeah. and thank foremost. You. And um, I know you have limited time here, so I think we have time for one more question. We have to go. Yeah, break. we have one I final question. And I, I, don't know if, I don't know if you know, uh, Jacob, he's our producer. He gets real douchey if you don't take breaks on time. <laughs> I've oftentimes fantasized of him punching him right in the <laughs> neck. <laughs> but not on a day like today. So I guess we have one question, and we'll ask it to you together as a group here. Uh, Corey 3, what's, what's up, up with, with the youth? youth? <laughs> Check it out now. Times are changing. Yeah, they're just a rearranging. Would you look at your children? See, there's nobody home. Look in the schoolyard. Look in their lockers and your minds will be blown. Nobody tries to understand them. Nobody tries to, on to hold on to their hand. Nobody tries to pay them some attention. Nobody tries to give them a chance. What's up with the youth? What's up with you? Corey 3, everybody! Corey 3, everybody! Yeah! Hell yeah! We'll be right back! It's the bonfire! What's up with you? Now you guys get to see us do a fucking live read! Oh! Yeah. Who's first? Where are the live reads? Oh, there, wait, what are you doing, Corey 3? Get out of Corey here! Three. Ooh. Hey! We all know sleep is important, but wouldn't you like to know how to make your sleep great night after night? Absolutely. 
I know that since I've been sleeping on a Sleep Number bed, I get a great night's sleep. And you can, too. Just go to a Sleep Number store. The only place you'll find the Sleep Number bed with Sleep IQ technology. My Sleep Number, 70. Dan? Yeah. I'm, I'm coming in at a soft 45. Mm. Cushy. We also got new uh, pillows. I got to try that thing out. Tonight. Dude, I don't know what these new pillows are made of, but I, I mean, don't Heaven. get a break kayfabe, but this, they're unbelievable. I can't wait. I gotta buy them. We got to remember what they're called so we can tell them to buy those too. <laughs> Should have written down what it was on the box. Well, because the sleep number bed adjusts on each side, it's the perfect bed for couples. Sleep IQ technology tracks your sleep so you know what to adjust for to get your best night's sleep, whether it's diet, exercise, or your sleep number setting. In fact, according to Sleep IQ Research, Dan, people who adjust their sleep number settings are 58% more likely to have improved sleep quality. Hmm? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention what happened. <laughs> Come, I'm so bad at this. Coming now, come now and experience the comfort of sleep number adjustability. Save $400. $400. What? On a C4 mattress. It's the lowest price ever. You'll only find Sleep Number at any of the 500 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Find one near you by going to sleepnumber.com. Sleep number .com. Damn, I almost did the whole thing. I almost did it. Sleepnumber.com. And be sure and tell them Jay and Dan of the Bonfire sent you. That was great. It was so great. Guys, how great was that? <laughs> See? See? Uh, uh. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder, live from the Village Underground. Woo! Yeah! Are we doing music? Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought we were rejoining with music. Bonfire live from the Village Underground. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big J Okerson. Yeah. This is the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95C. I know it's a radio show. Look at you. The number 844. No. Oh, I was like, do we have to do that too? How? Oh, they would never get How through. How are we going to look at calls? They'll never get through. When we were on break, uh, oh, I want to bring our guests up, actually. Yeah, we, yeah, we got two up. more amazing guests. By the way, this is the best part of the New York Comedy Festival. Everyone's in town, so you get some kick-ass guests. Uh, I'm proud and honored that these next two people showed up. Can I introduce them while you go to the end chair? I think our guest should sit in between sure. us. Probably should have figured this out before the show. Yeah, you're right. Ready? <laughs> switch. Ready? Switch. All right, boom. <laughs> and then put that one here, and then you go over there. And then no one even knows. And then your thing. And then my warm snapper. <laughs> seamless. Perfect. That shit was seamless. But I feel like I have to get out of the way, so when they get on, there's not like that weird, like you got trapped. In no, the I same. hope they bump you like a fucking angry stewardess. All right. <laughs> Just giving you shoulder blocks. That happens to me every time. They hate me. The big fat bear leg just in the middle of the aisle. <sighs> Anywho. Uh, our guests, our first guests coming up uh, here together. Or uh, let's give each one their own intro. Yeah. You want to go first? Um, you... Do her, or I'll do him. Yeah, and then I'll do her and him, and then you do them too. And then I'm gonna And then I'll do you. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and wash for a while. Uh, and then I'm gonna wash myself while I watch. I'll do her all day long. Whoa. She is one of my favorite comedians in the world, and she is definitely one of my favorite guests on the show. You know her, you love her from the My Wife Hates Me podcast. Make some noise for Bonnie McFarland. Yeah. Thank Bonzi. you. Bonzi. This is great. This is so great that yeah. you guys are doing, like, you let us in on what radio is really yeah, we'll like. We see it behind the curtain. It's amazing. You're such a well, dick. Six <laughs> minutes before he brought up Nikki Glaser. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bonnie, I dated Nikki Glaser. Bonnie, oh, I don't know if this aggression cute. is coming from the collapse of the Opie channel or... <laughs> Yeah, back in your kitchen, bitch. <laughs> you don't know. I orchestrated that whole thing so I could stop fucking doing it. Okay. That's step one in the divorce of Rich. Yes. <laughs> it's an elaborate. And now we're one. not getting divorced. This is murder, suicide, or nothing. <laughs> this is how we're doing it. That sounds fair. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the best way to go out. Our next guest. Yeah, um, Dan, now, Dan, you do him now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do him. You guys want to watch me do him? Yeah. 
Me and Byron's uh, gonna watch. Yeah, if you know our next guest, you know morality-wise, he doesn't like this intro. Uh, but one of my best friends, one of your best friends, we all love him. He's uh, also been known as the Sniper on You Know What, Dude. And he's one of the best stand-up comedians that you could see tomorrow night on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Please welcome to the show, Nate Bargatze, everybody. <laughs> I classened it up. Usually it's Bargatze. Usually it's Bargatze, but I feel like I gave him a good Bargatze on that one. Bargatze. Yeah. What's up? Fucking Isn't Tonight it? Show for the 50th time, I believe it is. Are you it's slowly so just going to take Jimmy's job? That's how you do it. Yeah? A lot of people don't know. That's how Jay Leno did it. <laughs> slowly just started getting closer and closer to the... Desk. They, they're grooming you uh, somehow. I'm glad we have... Actually, I'm happy we have Nate up here for this, too, because I think he'll jump on your side... Whereas Bonnie, I believe, will definitely jump on my side. Uh, earlier, you said to people in the audience when we were off air, that you went, oh, like you guys don't pee in Snapple bottles. And I've never even thought of attempting to try doing that. But I feel like Nate, never, his face already tells me, he's like, it. yeah, a bunch. No, I, I definitely I, agree with his brunette side. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, guess what, Bonnie? Blondes have more fun, and I piss in a Snapple bottle. <laughs> How have, you, how have you never thought of it, though? You've never thought, like, you've never had to pee so bad. You're like, I'll piss in this bottle. He's where? clearly got where? a yeah, huge penis because he was like, even though that's a wide, for you, that's a wide mouth thing. <laughs> <laughs> but for him, he's like, I don't know. It still seems precarious. I'll take it over. Always in lawyer you. mode, this one. I've always, Thanks. and another thing my client would like you to know. <laughs> but I, it, counsel speaks for me now. <laughs> I feel like, Nate, you're on my side, right? I don't know, man. I, I, it's, it's not. I think you think I would have done it, but I. I really did. Why would you? I did like Jay. Where, where, where are you at? Where are you at that you can't go to the bathroom? I don't know where you're at. What are you doing in your life that does not? Like a, maybe you're on a bus that doesn't have a bathroom. A no, bus. What? You can't piss. You can't put your dick out on a bus and put it in a bottle. <laughs> You can if you. Hey, to be fair, I think everybody on bus is completely fine with that. Like that's, no one on a yeah, bus is like, Jay, sir. They're all Jay, like, you, you want to use my bottle? You don't know. You don't know bus culture. Uh, in, in fairness, I do not know bus culture. I but, box I mean, like, out. But, but I'm saying, but where would it happen on a? You've never done it on a bus, Dan, have you? Or you bet tell us you've done it on a bus? Dan, should I not? Say Say, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Are you guys sponsored by Greyhound? By <laughs> that would that decides. I'll tell you what, it. we're not going to be after this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I peed in a bottle. On that, a bus. Is that the on story? A on a bus, but they have bathrooms. Yeah, not the one I was on. What? Bus? I don't know what Where fancy ass you buses you're riding on. Where were you? Wait, you went like on a city bus? No, I'm not an insane person. There's no cross. Yeah. There's no cross states buses don't have bathrooms. Even the cross town buses have I, bathrooms. It was. I was. Was it the early 40s? Yeah. <laughs> when was... You should all know I'm a time traveler. <laughs> yeah. I was going from my grandma's house down to San Francisco, which is like a four-hour bus ride, and I had to pee real bad, and they weren't making any stops, and the bathroom was broken, and I drank oh, a 32-hour... They make no stops. No. A four-hour ride Straight with shot. a bus full of people. Yeah. When was this? Broken bathroom, people! Get your <laughs> yeah, Snapple yeah, bottles bottle. ready! Snapple bottles, two uses. Don't throw them away. <laughs> and one time I pissed in a Gatorade bottle when I was driving cross country with when we were moving my mom's boyfriend Joe out from Connecticut to Denver. That sounds like a move you would do. It sounds like Joe would go give me that bottle as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, come to think of it, I better go before we get any further. Yeah. My when, when I was on my way to the uh, shore one time from Philly with buddies. My buddy Glenn, I was in the passenger seat. He was driving. He said he had a pistol really bad. He goes, hand me one of those Gatorade bottles. Yeah. And he's pissing. The real thing about those bottles, though, is even though you think you can, I found this out with the, uh, the roll for the toilet paper, too. You think you could put your dick in it, it but it really doesn't. You can't. You, you, your dick's always a little thicker than you think it is. It's also, it's also mushy. You're not going in there with a bone. Yeah. So you got to, what you do is just got to aim it. You got to mush it up against. It's, like you're, you, like you're trying to drown yeah, it. Yeah. So he was. So he just. But what, he didn't do that. He just kind of like kept it a couple of centimeters away. That's pretty. That's a lot of faith. And I hear. The, I hear the piss stream starting, and we're like in tra like, a, like a traffic jam. That's why he's even doing this. And uh, I was even like, dude. See, there's multiple reasons. No, no, no. You should have said traffic jam right away because that bus story is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, no one was on your side for pissing on a bus. Uh, and it's not, but they so, were. So, the people listening at home. 
Oh, yeah, they, they loved it. Well, if there's um, guys driving trucks, they might be. Let right out a truck horn would. right now, if you agree with me. Yeah. Across America. Wait, I don't want to stop. We see it in the news if tomorrow. you stand with Dan. <laughs> well, wait. So, <laughs> so, wait. My friend Glenn's pissing in this bottle, and I hear it, and it's kind of funny, like the sound of piss happening in a bottle. It's in a hilarious. Car. It's very uncomfortable. Piss hitting plastic is hilarious. But then he goes. That's I, my I, whole special. I hear him start. <laughs> I hear him start to giggle. And so, and I, so I, I don't know what he's, while he's giggling, I just look over and I look down. And the bottle, he's still pissing strong stream, and his bottle's almost full. And I go, oh, shit, Glenn, it's going to overflow. And he goes, and he laughs hard. He goes, huh, and his dick comes up and piss full stream, hits the steering wheel, which just fans it out across the hole. And we were at the shore for the day. I mean, Ever been ran to the ocean right when you got there? <laughs> and what, my clothes? What am I, I going to wash them? Like a... Oh, man, what, how powerful of a stream does Glenn have? Dude, it was still going. It's like know a what, power washer. It really, I it, like, it's fan, and I got, uh, you feel like your face and your clothes. Uh, I like your, your life is, anything we say, I feel like you have some crazy story. <laughs> like, you, you like can always go, I go, all right, let me tell you this one. <laughs> and you like don't remember it till right now. And oh, then you're like, oh, yeah, uh, I got a good one. Pissing in a bottle? Girls yeah. don't have the luxury of even that as being an option. You could never aim into a bottle on you a skatering You don't bottle. know what we're capable of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's Bonnie. That's that's so, yeah, what's the, where's the weirdest how, place you've peed? How do girls A pee? bed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The bathtub. I've done okay. a bed. A lot yeah. of different places, but big areas. Large areas. <laughs> yeah, not. Yeah, you can't snipe piss. Oh, yeah. We, we're going into the future. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, do you don't know how angry it makes me that you guys fucking applauded that. <laughs> You know what makes me angry? That you're married to a grown man who wears that hat in a backpack. <laughs> That's, that, this is, I, just to tell you what I live That's the best thing about him. <laughs> By the way, Rich Voss, for those of you who are at home, just walked across our stage and then out of our lives, hopefully forever. Uh, no, no. Also, he will, he no, will no. Be, on our, uh, he'll be on our show tomorrow. Can I just show you this picture that my daughter drew and just ask if there's this a problem? This is perfect for radio. Yes. Go okay. ahead. Okay. <laughs> So she said, I, I drew a picture of the dog, and there's the dog down there. Mm -hmm. And then look, what's, there's a leg, and then look at that. It's a lot of phallus. Look at that. There's what? a lot of phallus in this. Yes. Let I said, I, I asked her, what's that? She goes, oh, I can't draw hands. She goes, but, but I, I can't was... draw dicks like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. She's like, and, and I got them unshaved. Those are uncircumcised ones. That's like she drew, she drew the well, penises obviously... first, and then she's like, I can't give my mom that. And no. then she made it a cat. <laughs> if, if she gave this to Rich, look at that. If she gave this to Rich, he would definitely think that I was cheating on him. Because he would know that's not him. <laughs> he would be like, that is huge. <laughs> I'm trying no. to find a picture. And a dick tail. I know. It's like, <laughs> what's What's going on at home? <laughs> at least you didn't give it to a teacher, though. Right. Because yeah, then no. your teacher would have been like, uh, can we, Miss McFarlane, um, can we Rain talk is obsessed about... with dicks. I know. I'm, I'm like, trying, she doesn't so... know she's doing it. And the teacher would be like, that's part of the problem. She does. She looks right at us while she's drawing it. <laughs> I'm trying goes, so hard to find. I can't find the picture right now. But uh, Isabella, when uh, she was younger, drew it. She goes, look, I drew a picture of a sock puppet. And it's just a dick with arms. <laughs> oh, no, I, honey, that's a dick arm. But you know what's funny? Yeah. Uh, that, that's the, uh, it's the logo for my production company. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, and, it's, so yeah, and I have her voice going, it's a sock puppet. Because <laughs> 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 it's clearly a dick with arms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what I think it is? Do we have live drops from Art Norman? Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. So fantastic. Everybody, please give it up for Mark Norman. Hey, hey. Also, you can get tickets to see his hour special taping for Comedy Central November 17th here in New York. Go to, uh, what is it, Mark Blacklist, NYC.com? Yes, thank you. You got it. Is that a drop? Is that actual Mark Norman? You're not going to know. I don't, I don't I know. Bet. Yeah, well, Maybe. Is he here? Yeah, I'm is. really confused by this. I'll tell you. You guys have got me that I'm like, I don't know. These are all. No, Nate, Nate, he's here. Um, 
What's it called? Uh, I bet the people you can get. Mark Norman might get behind you pissing about, and Lou certainly is pissed in a fucking bottle in his life. Lou, he's probably, you... Lou, Lou has been so hammered, he's probably tried to piss in the, the spigot they put inside the bottles. Like a, like a vodka bottle. He's tried to piss inside a Capri Sun. Yeah. He's like, I can do it. I can do it. I got this shit. Let's... That was too much. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Lou, have you tried to piss in a bottle? Yeah, sir. He just said, he just looked at me and goes, yeah, of course. Um, whatchamacallit? I, we Norman, have... have you ever pissed in a bottle? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. I really love you can't there, their drops. There's up. nothing that he said. He's Say, always what's on the today's run. date? Say the date. I don't know if he's here or not. I love that. I love that. Hold I on. I love that Nate is genuine. He's I mean, really I am, rattled. I am more confused than people probably listening at home. It's, it's freaking him out. I don't care for he's it. Like a, he's like a dog just barking at the door <laughs> yeah. after the doorbell goes off. He's like, I what's out there? <laughs> Someone's coming. It's like you, you're just hitting a jar. <laughs> yeah. It was me. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> no, no. It's a, I know a door knock. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so many times when you hit the table. Yeah. And the dog's like, oh, yeah. not you, asshole. <laughs> Now I don't think he's here. I don't. I don't. Why know. wouldn't he say something else at that point? Why because wouldn't he quell is, your I mean, your suspicions? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't care. By the way, is a hot chick in a wheelchair by the door. <laughs> <laughs> he's here. <laughs> I'm still fifty fifty because I didn't even see. I don't know if that would. I mean, it doesn't see a wheelchair chick. I'm just happy how would he not know about the? How would he know about the wheelchair? Chick? Like, did you text him? Someone texted him. Say no. This. No one texted him at all. I like that more people are coming out of the shadows to admit they've pissed in bottles, and I think, <laughs> I think it takes a lot of strength. You know what? I bet you know, there's a lot of people. When Voss walked by, you know what? Uh, I got reminded of not just that I should still watch Breaking Bad, but. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get around to it at some point. Remember, he was telling the joke about Vani yesterday, and then oh. and, but he was just, it was just a joke. I think it was just a joke. But it, I mean, all the, it was so, it's so funny when you know the wife he's talking about. <sighs> he started a joke off about saying about laying a nice, heavy. He said, "You did you say she asked you to come on her face?" Oh, I did. I did. Uh, I said, yeah. Come on her. Oh, I thought it was but a joke. We thing. got so boned up. But here's the thing. I, I said, come on my face. But I, I was being a little bit mean because I knew. I was that's like, make, that, no, it's better. I know he's not going to be able to really. Like, I had to lay under it and let it drip onto yeah. me. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. I like. Uh, Voss, this entire time your act was all based on truth. Oh, yeah. I like that we're wondering why your kid draws dicks on pictures. <laughs> and this is, this is the conversation her parents are having. <laughs> Let me get under there. I she punched yeah. that gotta... story up for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you run it by her first. I wonder yeah. why. <laughs> She's having breakfast. You go, here's yeah. what happened. I'm sitting here It's funnier, Mom, night. if you asked him to do it. Yeah. Let <laughs> me just say that. <laughs> also, you're using too many words. <laughs> I know. Here, let me draw you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I would show, do you think she knows what those things are? She's cursed. She moved a stack of Rich's hats one day. She said, I'm going to wear one of his hats. And she moved a stack of Rich's hats. But we, this is like, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> We're not, um, and uh, there was a lot of stuff there i what didn't even know stuff? it was there it was you know like sex person? toys no, no. and then i told her they were uh dog toys uh and then uh, wait do you guys pick your sex toys like three card monty where rich has all of his hats <laughs> and he's like yes <laughs> find which one the dildo yes. was in <laughs> also, well, the, the, do you also, do you guys have a dog? <laughs> we uh, let me just say this though. Most. We did use dog toys, uh, sex toys, before we got the dog. <laughs> that just was going to be the funny reveal. Lying. No, we don't. Oh, <laughs> see, see what oh. happens when Bonnie talks erotically. The, fucking, the PETA people are here. You can get you can get dog toys at the dollar store. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just FYI, if you're a little strapped, uh, they work fantastic. Uh, that's all. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> how old is how old no, no idea. Pick your no bone idea. size. Still has no he idea. Say. Your daughter's eight, right? Uh, she's eight or nine. <laughs> um. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Absolutely. My daughter's 14 back there, and she are uh, the newest thing is uh, we're pretty sure she curses a lot when we're not around. Uh, yeah, she's she 14. Slipped, she slipped in front of her mom. Yeah, I know, but I still can't picture hearing it. Oh, okay. But yeah, she laid a she laid an f bomb apparently, and I was like, ooh. But I mean, I got mad, like not even mad at her. She doesn't even know because like I heard about it, and I was like, how are you gonna do, man? Like I don't know. Like I mean, she grew up with me around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, gloves yeah. are off. You could say whatever you yeah, want. You do no, what you I don't want. say whatever you want. But I mean, I mean, yeah. she grew with me, so I was like, you know, I used to go over the. She'd be crying in the crib, and I'd be like, "You fucking hungry?" <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what that is. Yeah, they don't totally know, but it sinks in. Them. Hey, look, she learned Spanish somehow. It's just in you. <laughs> yeah. If you're around it, if you're around it, you pick it up. Yeah. yeah. Also, her dad looks like a bad boy chef. <laughs> 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 Are you saying that Jay might have been yelled at by Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> More Guy Fieri. <laughs> I think he's here now. All right, darn. <laughs> <Go ahead. Yeah. laughs> uh, this would be the most unbelievable sound bunch of you. Like y'all, like did y'all work on this for months? <laughs> like we had him prepared for every possible for, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just drilled Mark with questions. Yeah. What about this? Ah. <laughs> I love it. It's oppressive. It's like Batman-like. He's just gone. God, now I don't know what to, I'm so excited that that story with Bonnie was real. I had no idea. Yeah. We walked out yesterday. They were like, when, as soon as Rich left, we was like, about what it, about like, that crazy story? Because, I mean, it ended up being a joke at the end, but we still thought about it, and then it was true. Well, I, 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 I don't like talking this way on the radio, but I blow him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> then why is he still a dick? <laughs> <laughs> That's a drop. That's just a drop. Yeah. That one wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That just worked out. I never. Fi <laughs> yeah. I almost never finish. That's uh, uh, oh. No, I because I feel like it's part of my. It's like how do you keep a marriage? You know, you blow your husband consistently and and never say I love you. That's how. That's that how you make it work. You need to run a seminar. <laughs> it's the push and pull. Yeah. Yes. Nate, you're in a successful marriage. Yeah, yeah. Six, I mean, it is. I mean, it's funny, yeah. Do you guys? I don't. I don't know. You know what's funny? It's almost like you're caught still Nate doing still it. thinking about the Norman thing, or he's yeah. like, "There's a good chance Nate he's still, not here." Nate doesn't strike. Nate doesn't strike me as the dog toy type. <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? I'm not even comfortable with this conversation. So that's where that's where I'm at. Nate, uh, Nate uses the crucifix. <laughs> like Exorcist. No, that's sacrilege. Hey, no matter how dark it is, God can still see you, Mark. So <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he just banished Norman to hell. <laughs> He's, he was going. Norman, Norman in hell would be fantastic. <laughs> Hitler, ah, you yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> too many gays. <laughs> Howdy doody, homos. <laughs> Uh, is that a Joe Lister? I know where he is. I'm looking over here like I can see him. Uh. <laughs> he moves floating, through the crowd. Floating. Yeah, like he swings around like a snake. You know how angry Rich is that he doesn't have a mic? <laughs> oh, oh is he, he is twisting furious. his hat? Oh, he's ah. <laughs> he just moves on the ground and jumps around like an old cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> if you move his hat even now, there's a dog toy. <laughs> 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 He's always moving with their sex toys. He keeps vibrating panties on his head just in case. <laughs> Rich, I didn't know that that story was real when you told it. That is fucking fantastic. Dog toys. Well, it's one Yuck. of those things where you hear someone you know say something sexual, i.e. Bonnie. And then you're like, oh, okay. Did your dad or Yes, uh, he Ma did. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, then never mind. Yeah. Did your dad ever like talk, or, or any of the dudes like make some allusion to banging your mom ever? Like, what do you mean, like to my face? <laughs> yeah, but like, but like, but like, a kind of a thing. It's like you know, it's like me and your mom are gonna, uh, you know, Did she fist pound you bit. as she walked out of her bedroom. <laughs> she, like, went, she went, woo! Vacuuming's gonna be a problem tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe, Joe used to say some stuff. Really? 
Oh, yeah. No, I think it was more psychologically damning because there's like, we're going to bed. I'm like, all right. <laughs> the TV was right below it's, the yeah, master it's bedroom. 3 p.m. Yeah. I'm all, you guys sleep a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was my parents. They go, they go we're going to go to bed. And then they go upstairs and just blast. And then and you hear my stepfather go down and goes, Jay, take some money. Run the Taco Bell for us. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> He sent me out to get him after fuck food. No. Oh, nah, dude, that is Make me great. a milkshake with your bare hands. <laughs> I swear. I mean, he used to make me make milkshakes with oh, my bare hands. The thought of him just rolling off your mom going, you think he'll get his TB? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tear, I could go for a chalupa right now. <laughs> Let's make the kid go get it. And so, by the way, he couldn't even just do it because it had to be like he's like a specific eater kind of yeah. guy. Like, Give me number three, no onions. <laughs> just holding just a wash still rag slippery, over his head. Just slippery from my mom still. It's. Uh, hey, yeah. bud. <laughs> It's not just get whatever. It's like real. You swing by the wall. You have to go to the, the door. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole thing. No tomatoes. Hold on, I'm going to pass you a note, but it's got sex musk on the note. <laughs> ah. uh, they always, my, my mom and her boyfriend always say they're going to go read. <laughs> they're like, we're going to go read before bed. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Then you go in her book. It'd be funny that you went in her room, though, and, and opened a book that was on her dresser, and it said, like, oh, God, oh, God, yes, yeah. yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> slam, much, so slam, big. thump, <laughs> slam, slam, thump. <laughs> but getting food that's got to be it's hilarious would you were you old enough to drive i guess or at times like yeah for uh, sure 16 you could drive and uh yeah 16 you could drive everywhere but even that yeah but it was like but also it was there was we had like one of those like fast food runs oh. like right by our house so it would always be like hey you want to go grab mcdonald what checkers <laughs> <laughs> you want to go grab what? Taco Bell for it? It was always like my mom yelling from the bed, still grossed out. <laughs> I remember one time one of her boyfriends ate my Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> and I remember getting pretty violently angry inside. I was like 11, them? and I was like, okay, all right, that's what we're doing. I feel like that would be in a book about, like, if you d dated someone that had a kid, it'd be like, don't eat this kid's cereal. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the first thing they would tell. Yeah, if Dr. Spock wrote a yeah. fucking a kid's mom book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, don't eat the cereal. If you do, eye contact. Let him know you're the alpha. <laughs> And I drank all the milk, too. I drank your mom's milk. I drank it up. You go tell your mom, Joe, I ate my cereal. And she's like, Joe, earn that cereal, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Joe can have all the cereal he wants. <laughs> I'm still cooling off. I hope he empties the last of that chocolate dust in the milk. Because he would earned he, it. Would he come downstairs, like, no shirt on, like, after anything? And, like, you just have to sit there? Yeah. <laughs> Joe, my yeah, stepfather, yeah. love no shirt. <laughs> Loose pants. He got like like, like Dalton. Remember when Dalton put on jeans in Roadhouse? Yeah. When the girl showed up with the uh, fucking pastries, yeah. like at that, he just kind of puts them on. Like, still some muff hanging out of yeah. the top. He's like, <laughs> Is it, woo! No, no underwear. Any diet ginger ale? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a snap and have the kid go grab us some Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm feeling like a fourth meal after that fuck. <laughs> That was a fourth meal fuck. <laughs> Jacob, how are we, we, what, four minutes? Did you just throw me the four horsemen sign? Or I go, Jacob, he goes. Phew. What does that mean? Cadillac riding, checks riding. <laughs> Kiss stealing, Styling. son of a gun. <laughs> Cheese eating, Deb hugging. <laughs> Push up locking. I wish we could have got Deb and Ben. No offense. What? You know what's funny though? They kind of are like Deb and Ben, but funny Deb and Ben. Yeah, you guys are funny Deb. I wish I really wish we had them now to show that comparison. How much they actually in that same world? Ben's so like we a have golf this... guy wears a hat. Who are you? Oh, you're talking about you would like to replace me and Bonnie right now? That's what we're talking about. Right. No, no, no. I, By the way, Nate's said... the best at doing shit like that. I was on the road with Nate for a long time, and I would say something, and then I'm in a trap. And then I realized he's using me for sparring for when he gets home for his wife. <laughs> it's like the entire time he's like, hey, remember back in Tuscaloosa when you said you were hungry? I'm like, did we, no, I don't. He's, did I'm we in an say, argument with him. I don't want to overtell the story if I've told it with him with Metzger on the road. No. Oh, that's one the of my favorite. Like, uh, yeah. Kurt's such a, just, a lunatic. Yeah. This was, we'd go, we'd Providence. This was, 
I'd open for Kurt. I would you. I just between you and Kurt at Providence, Rhode Island, <laughs> we just go. And I go with Kurt. Kurt would only call me his opener. He just called me. He, he was on the phone, and he's like just so loud and like obnoxious, and like and he's just in an elevator, like on the cell phone. He's like, "What? No, I'm just here with my opener. It's just me and him in an elevator." <laughs> I don't even think the person's asking who you're with. Like, he's just saying, I'm with my opener. She's like, what? I don't, am I asking that? He's like, I don't know. I just want him to Does my it. opener get a free drink, too, comedy club? And we got to go do uh, radio. Or he's got to go do radio, so I'm going to go. We had share, this is like when you didn't get uh, your opener, your, their own room. Like, you had to go stay in yeah. with them. So we're staying in the same room. And then uh, all I do is I like, if someone walks into something, I let it happen. And so we're about to go do radio. <laughs> Kurt goes to the bathroom. He goes, is this uh, lotion? Is this is it conditioner? And I just said, yeah, it's conditioner for your skin. And then I walk in the bathroom, and he's got it. I mean, he's rubbing it on all his entire body. It's just rubbing conditioner. And then I was like, I'm joking. That's like for your hair. I was like, why? And there's one that says lotion next to it. And, and then in the Kurt, well, he's like, well, we got to go. So, and he was mad. And we had to leave. He had to do radio with all of that on him. Just covered in fucking conditioner. And I just texted him. I swear to you, two weeks ago, I did it to myself. And I texted him and said, just so you feel better. I just did it to myself. You put lotion and on I your put skin. conditioner on me and had to leave. Do you normally so. rub lotion on your I belly? Say, I rub it on my belly. Like, I know it's so much static. about you now. A little trick. It gets static. It, it's static. it keeps static down if you have lotion. Who I read it. I look so static. static. You yeah. hate static that much that you just lather yourself oh up. Oh my god. I love static. No one goes, oh, I like finally, to see I got your Google static. search. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. Yep. It starts with that, with well, static. I just been getting a little too much static lately. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dip myself in a barrel of oil. Okay. Aww. Aww. I just think of the picture of you in a hotel room, like, like watching someone on TV and rubbing lotion on your belly. Is watching a hilarious. football game. And he yeah. goes, uh, 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 uh. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> that goes back to him. Um, oh, we have to go to another break. Yeah. Um, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I know we said we wish Ben and Devin here. No, I don't. hope you get them. Nate uh, and Bob McFarland. Wrong. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow him. Nate Margatsy, thank you guys so much. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. ask you something. Does paying for channels you don't watch make you want to scream a four-letter word? Well, just stop. Stop it. Stop it. It's time for a skinny bundle that gives you what you actually watch and not what you don't. Listen, all right, we had to jump right into live read, including, I lost my place, introducing the Flex Pack from Dish. You start with over 50 popular channels. Want more? Then add, add channel packs like variety, locals, and sports stuff. Wow. It's over 50 popular channels for just $39.99 a month, with your first channel pack included. You're supposed to <laughs> act like that's a big cool thing. Oh! Add more, to it. Add more channel packs like local, variety, kids, news, and more for $10 a month each. Get the skinny, call 1-844-CALL-DISH, or visit dish.com to sign up. Requires credit card qualification uh -huh. to your commitment, or termination fee, and auto pay. One TV included. Taxes, surcharges, extra. Other restrictions apply. Boom! Boom! Hey, um, so we're going to do another... Uh, we're going to do... Hey, we all know sleep is important, right? But wouldn't you like to know how to make your sleep great night after night? Would you? Yeah! Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I know since I've been sleeping on a Sleep Number bed, I get a great night's sleep. And you can too. Just go to a Sleep Number store. The only place you'll find Sleep Number beds with Sleep IQ technology. My Sleep Number 75! 45! <laughs> And because the sleep number bed adjusts on each side, it's the perfect bed for couples. Sleep IQ technology oh. tracks your sleep so you know what to adjust for oh, oh, to get your best night's sleep. Whether it's diet, exercise, or your sleep number setting. In fact, according to Sleep IQ research, 
People who adjust their sleep number settings are 58% more likely to have improved sleep quality. My sleep number again, 75. Come in now and experience the comfort of sleep number adjustability. Save $400 on a C4 mattress. That's explosive! It's our lowest price ever! You'll only find Sleep Number at any of the 500 Sleep Number stores nationwide. Find one near you by going to sleepnumber.com and be sure and tell them Jay and Dan of the Bonfire sent you. Bonfire! And now back to the Bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder, live from the Village Underground. Yes, indeed. For those of you listening at home, we are in a basement in the West Valley. Yards away, werewolves, Draculas, cried and threw up last night. To hear, um, welcome back to the live bonfire as part of the New York Comedy Festival. Yeah. We've learned, uh, we've learned a lot of things that peeing in a bottle is not so strange. No, it is strange, we found out. Shut up, Is Jay. that what you took from that? Is that what you took from that at all? Really? Yeah, I don't feel weird about it. No, it's strange, dude. On a bus? It's downright retarded. Somebody yell out, boat? On a boat? If you're not pissing off the side of a boat, you're an asshole. (laughs) If you're peeing in a bottle on a boat, you should die on said boat. What if it's Uh, on a windy boat, though? That's funnier. Like peeing off a speedboat? Yeah, you go, piss breeze! (laughs) (laughs) Miss! Send it! Uh, have you been on a lot of boats in your life? I, I worked in Alaska. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not sure if that means you have or not, but... Uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That means... I think I went on three boats. I don't know. Not a lot. I think more than you. You've been on a boat? I visited Hawaii a few times. <laughs> I've been on the mighty Mississippi a couple times. Um, our next guest we're bringing up here, we're packing this thing with fun Yeah, this tonight, is a fucking everybody. live show. If you're here tonight, and if you're listening, you're going to get a treat, because our next guest is one of the best of all time. He's, He's been on our show twice now, and is just, uh, I mean, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the funniest human being I've ever met. Everybody, how about it for Dave Attell coming to the stage? <laughs> The <laughs> true master. Oh, I found a bucket check, of water. Check, check, check. Guys, I was asking Christine how many shows. It's like definitely over 130 shows, right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, we did it, guys. Yeah. yeah. We did it. That was the over-under? <laughs> 130? <laughs> Dave always looks like a helicopter pilot that you just woke up to fly you somewhere. <laughs> You're being super kind. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, we got to get the chopper in the air. It's going to get windy around 3. Nope. It's getting a little dicey here in Venezuela. <laughs> No, guys, you're being way too kind. I look like an Uber driver's Uber driver. That's what I look like. The guy picks him up. Uh, no, you look better than that. You look like a war journalist. <laughs> yeah, the war of whiskey and cocaine. All right. <laughs> Fall on the battlefield of David Tell. Can I say something? Because it's a great crowd here. I mean, yeah. it's awesome to do the show live to see the fans. Am I right? It's great. Yeah, it's great. And when those four uh, white guys were yelling something besides USA, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, those are the guys that I was talking to outside. They look like high school offensive linemen. They do. <laughs> it's the whole squad. I've met like, every one listen- of these guys on Craigslist. <laughs> I assume at some crazy moment. <laughs> they just walk around and link arms. Yeah. They just link arms. They, they walk in a chain link, just waiting for minority fights. Yeah. <laughs> We're the New York Minutemen. They're like, that does nothing up here. Take that shit to Jersey, Peruvian. <laughs> <laughs> on group stage. <laughs> Mark Norman's still in the audience. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you guys look like uh, two roommates getting high with your super. (laughs) (laughs) Point taken. Nice one. (laughs) God, I hate your robot mind sometimes. (laughs) Your robot mind. (laughs) I hate the way you compute jokes so efficiently. So close to becoming a real boy. (laughs) (laughs) 
So, you know, you guys, uh, let me let me ask you, now can we take a look back, I guess, at all the shows? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, can do a year, we can do a year right? and a half in review. Okay, so before you guys decided to go on a uh, dildo bike only kind of format. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was a big turn in our uh, character as a show. Yeah, I don't know what the big deal about sex toys is. I really don't see what the, you know. Well, Bonnie and Rich apparently keep them under hats. They do? Like a fucked up <laughs> Easter egg hunt. I got that. Uh, I oh, got... you just found the master one. <laughs> no, don't take that one for professionals. <laughs> <laughs> You're proving uh, that, that, right. uh, that one's for professionals. New York used to be so much filthier. Like you would, yeah. like, you, like now you can still kind of buy a sex toy here. You know, yeah. you can kind of like almost like city bike a sex toy here, you know? <laughs> yeah, just rent one and put it back. But like back in the day, you would like, you get in a cab, there's a butt plug. And you'd be like, what the fuck? Well, there... You know what's funny? They how do I know it was a butt plug? Because it fit perfectly. That's how I know. <laughs> Boom. Don't step on a tag. <laughs> There's a lot more jerk-off rooms back then, right? Exactly. Buddy booths, we used to call them. <laughs> buddy? <laughs> Seems like a weird name for it. Is that like the booth is your buddy, or there's someone else in there with you? Like there the was buddy no system. one in there. That's for sure. <laughs> Definitely no self-esteem. That's for sure. In those places. I, uh, Dan, you said you have tried... Your flashlight, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I fucked a flashlight at Moon Tower in Austin. Really? I still own one. I was bored in my hotel. It made me feel like a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. I was just like, ah! <laughs> just, you're like, my flash hits, flash, I don't know where it's on. <laughs> but it felt great. That's what blows my mind, did it? Yeah. I'm so afraid to try it. I'll tell you what, though. At, you feel the silliest after you come in that thing. You do? <laughs> Yeah, like you're, you're washing it out in the sink. Do you I think, threw it away. I was do you like, get out of here, you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fake turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I came. How could you hear you do it? I don't believe this story, man. Because, no, but the saddest part is for doing the rest it? of the weekend, I jer they give you a little like corner bag of lube with the flashlight. And I, I threw away the flashlight and then just used the little pocket size. Oh, off the know, grid. Yeah, I just like that. that was the lube that I used. Really? Yeah, it was sad. It's that weird how in sad. Austin you were so lonely when for like 50 bucks and some pod you could get like a mandolin player and an <laughs> auto harp guy to accompany your jerking. That's true. Just some street musician. <laughs> Gosh, Gosh, hey, buskers, come upstairs. It'd be funny if you were using it and you heard like you kept hearing noise and you turned it like it was an actual flashlight. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Who's there? Who's, Who's there? there? Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? I see you. <laughs> it was weird walking by it in the garbage the rest of the weekend. You really did just toss it. Well, I don't have a. I don't have maids come in my room. <laughs> Wait, what? So, I so have no hold. similar story except for this. One time in the scouts, I jerked off while holding a lantern, <laughs> and um. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and that was your flashlight. You're wondering why I was holding the lantern. It was my turn. So there you go. Ah. <laughs> New stuff. Go ahead. Have you ever used like a pocket pussy or a sex toy like that? Oh, not during an election year. Whoa. <laughs> ah. Come on, buddy. Ah. Ah. Not six game of the World Series, bro. <laughs> Pocket, but yeah, I've, I've used all of those toys. I love it. I think yeah? it's great. Yeah. You're a fan? Yeah, exactly. I Jay, like it. You, you do like it. I do, yeah. I'm afraid. That, I, first of all, I assume the situation of me even engaging in the activity with no toys is just unpleasant to look at. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to think of the ridiculousness of the action of that. And just like, I'm always thinking, I'm a hypochondriac, so I'm always like, what if I die in the midst of that? Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, fuck it. And then you, they find you just... Yeah. In, Oh, like on the wall or holding the... Oh, and then, and then things like the thing clamps down and I go limp because I die. And then when they pull the thing off, it's like that weird, like, yank thing where well, it's maybe, like... Maybe if it's Bonnie and Rich, they can put a hat over it. Oh, yeah. and just... <laughs> oh, make them decent as daughters in the room. <laughs> <A little bit. laughs> yeah. That would be weird if you unplugged it and then it just shot everywhere like a hose when you uh, uh, unstep on it. <laughs> it's still coming even though it's soft. <laughs> now, the worst part would be if they hand it to your mom like the flag. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry about your loss. On behalf of a grateful nation. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of a grateful nation, we thank your son for his service. Yes. <laughs> your son did a lot, miss. <laughs> he just returns it to you. Yeah. Here's what he was found with. <laughs> We're going to miss your son here at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, Dan, I forgot you you grew up in Alaska or you just lived I, there? I just lived there for five months was enough. That was what all I could wow. tell. Wow. He got a job. Like he got like a part-time or a full-time summer job as a 
canning a fish cannery. That's yeah, right. That's I worked cool. on the dock crew at a fish cannery. The only place you hear about a job like that is in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay. hey, they got jobs up north. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hey, they're hiring people for the old fish cannery in Barstow. I oh. came down from the mountains. They said you got flatland work. <laughs> the worst strip club ever. Strip cannery. <laughs> oh, you went to, would you go to American Showboat Beaver Charlie's? Hunt. No, no, fish cannery. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for one. I'll tell you what, the actual, like, Worst strip club for like fun up there was that Great American Bush Company in uh, Anchorage, Alaska, because it's like it's it's full nude, but it's also like a family environment. It's like a yeah, it's like, nude, a, it's, like a, it's like a hula hands with full nude dancing. <laughs> <on the track. laughs> it's crazy you say that. We got one weekend off that entire summer it was Fourth of July weekend. We went to Anchorage and went to Great American Bush Company, and I watched a pregnant woman get her tits sucked by the stripper on stage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Best night of my much. life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they call that something else up there, like the Kodiak special. Or, uh, some kind of <laughs> you want the Aurora Borealis? <laughs> <laughs> you got to suck on Janine's tit. <laughs> it was so weird. It just disrupted it. I was like talking to them. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And it, it doesn't close, right, because the sun's up or something? What is it again? Meth? Yeah. Yeah, that's, what it is. that's really what it is. But all the daylight plus the meth, nothing closes. Me, uh, me and Dave went to a strip club once. I forget somewhere Massachusetts, like bumfuck nowhere, Massachusetts. And the girl, like I've never seen a girl do a weird thing. Like the most dead look in her eyes and face. She was just like, she's like, you want to see my trick? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then she lays on her side, and she covers her butthole huh. with her fingers, and it makes her cooch like puff out like a puffer, like like like. Oh, neat. Like Louis Armstrong, strong cheeks. I, and, uh, I see skies blue. <laughs> blue. Blue. My pussy sounds like Louis Armstrong. But, yeah, yes. It was me and it was me and DeRosa, I, I think we're with you. Going, oh, no, 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 you know what? I think it was I think it was me and Vecchione, and I, it was me and Vecchione, and then we asked her. We go, why do you put your hand there to cover your butt? She's like, so I don't fart. <laughs> like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want when, she, when, she her puffs her, when she puffs at her cooch, she doesn't want to fart. So she uh, covers it with her she it's two finger class, cooch. Jay. Yeah. Right? That's what it's called. <laughs> she shushes her asshole. <laughs> she learned it in finishing school. <laughs> I love it. I don't think that's uh what's the weirdest stripper trick you've seen, Dave? The weirdest one? Um she, she yeah, giving one an engagement ring, I guess. Uh <laughs> 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 Putting her through college, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually graduating college. Yeah. That's the greatest stripper trick ever. How's that forensic science degree going? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, I like the, you guys remember the wave of like when it was the East European girls were coming here. You know, it these, still is, right? Well, I guess, but I remember like in the beginning of it, because before that it was all homegrown. You oh. know, homegrown girls from broken homes oh. coming in and coming from a real... Trying to be a star. A you know, divorced now. child from Iowa. That's the <laughs> best, though. Didn't you, did you ever see a girl you knew in life working in a strip club? Mm. That guy uh, just said you mean it like so from high fast? school. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. I say, I, say, I say this in my set sometimes, but it's true. We used to go every Wednesday night to the Fantasy Show Bar when we were 18 yes. to amateur. Yeah, no, it's fine. Hold on, I think one of them Amateur are here. Night. Amateur. Wait. There was a chick that like I was in creative writing class with. Oh. And I was a senior, and she was a sophomore, and she was running out of stories. You had to make the myths, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple of years later, she, uh, you know, I'm in the titty bar at Fantasy Show Bar, and uh, she comes over and asks me for a fucking, you want a lap dance? And I said, yes, this is a little weird, but go oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, we'll do man. it. We'll do this. I Who love that Delco. Oh yeah, he was like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. We used to go every Wednesday, man, like two or three times we saw a girl <laughs> dancing. And one time it was a girl who just was so shitty to us. Ah, revenge. She was a friend of my girlfriend's sister. What? Yeah. Friend of your girlfriend's sister. And yeah. And she was just mean and She to was you always just like shitty to us. Mm. Like, it was her older sister, who I think was my age. Oh, and I, uh, Yeah. It was one of those weirdo <laughs> things. And everyone kind of like, uh, she was just really shitty, nasty to us. Mm. And then, man, when she locked eyes with us and we were just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Was she We on have stage? the upper hand now. Oh, pussy out. Oh. And already doing like the weird like I may have made a mistake walk. <laughs> like the uh, like the like spinning around the pole like but her elbows are still tight together like mm, like it was very Is, it like, is it like when I used to go to the skating rink and hold on to the side of the wall? Yes. <laughs> 
Because I did a roller skate. And, and then like, she ah, fell on her butt ah, and her feet went straight out. Oh, I hate this. I, I, I wonder if instantaneously, right when she saw you, it cut back. And you're like, fuck you, losers. You're nothing but a bunch of fucking losers. And it's like, this is how you remind me. She's butt naked. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? My friend Glenn from the same story of being oh, in the Glenn bottle. Oh, Glenn the powerful piss. Yes, powerful piss Glenn. He kept going like. Power oh, piss Glenn. Her name, was, her name was Wendy, but they can't, you know, the guys going like, how about it for Sizzle up there? You know, whatever dumb name she has. Sizzle. Sizzle? Give it up for is Sizzle. Is she a fucking her villain way. in Cobra? <laughs> Sizzle. <laughs> ah, once when I get sizzle on you. <laughs> what a, what a, whatever name they had for her, every time she came over to our pole, Glenn would, she, Glenn would just keep going, Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> and she would swing around the pole and she'd be like, shut the fuck up. Really? Shut the fuck up. Did she say it every yes. time she swung around? Yeah, like a fucking... Shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, he was doing the Jack Nicholson walking up the stairs in the shining. He's like, Wendy! <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> That's fucking perfect. And you've never known a stripper, Dave, like from real life and then on to the pole? Fuck yeah, I have. Dude, come on. <laughs> you know what's funny? I feel like I just woke up Dave in the back of a car. <laughs> Uh, I was like, Dave, he's like, fuck No, I'm, I'm still getting over this, like, little, like, victory of yours over the high school girl, you know? But, you know, she went home, like, with all your money, and, uh... No, no money. We were broke. We went there, and they hated us. We used oh, to make $3 every week. Oh, really? <laughs> you had to tip the girl when you walk in. They make you, the girl, yes, gives you a hug with her titties, and then they, the girl sits you down, you have to give her a dollar, mm -hmm. and then at some point... You're going to want a Sprite and some popcorn, See, that's which is complimentary, but you got to give the girl a dollar. That's because we're smooth. Well, like, there. I've been to, like, strip clubs, like, you know, like in, like, the Badlands, you know, where, like, a guy <laughs> takes a bath before he goes out. You know, it's like, my, I'm going to take my Saturday bath and wax my mustache. And then I'm going to go see. <laughs> I'm a frontier. I'm going to go see some peelers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Peelers is the greatest. <laughs> I also like the strippers, like the lazy strippers, where like they'll like twirl twice and then they'll just talk to their friends who are sitting up front. <laughs> yeah. So now you really are like the uh, special ed guy in high school, like, hey, I thought we were going to have a moment. <laughs> yeah. uh, excuse me, <laughs> over here. <laughs> I said, I don't give a fuck. I'll kill him. What? You know, <laughs> we used to always ignore, like, the rap they'd give you in your ear because we had no money. We were teenagers. But the best part was when she'd give this. I had a buddy, man. It was so great. My buddy Dave. I remember we go, she'd go next to him. Like, right after me, she'd give me the whole, like, I want to take you in the back. You're so cute. And I want to blow it. And then he'd come out. But, like, always, without a doubt, five minutes later, he always goes, dude, she said I was really cute. And she wanted to bring him. Like, he always <laughs> believed this shit. That guy's always like in the Vietnam movies. He would be the first guy to die. That's the guy. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like oh, gonna, oh, dumb Charlie, yeah. such a rube. Yeah, I'm gonna go piss by myself, not in the jungle. <laughs> yeah, there's always Stead always worked with me. I was the guy that that worked the stripper rap. Well, now you guys have your own radio show. I'm sure you're. Balls deep in pussy. No, no, it's very dry. Look at there's some hot women here very, right now. Tons tons of very hot dry women here. penis. <laughs> Dan's on a bumble and it's not working out. <laughs> Swing it in a miss it. <laughs> Ow! Break more beers. You could have timed that after I said How's balls that deep in pussy. That would have been twice. a better up. <laughs> I feel like at one point he just kicked the table. I was like. Or I'm done with this bumble talk. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> like, how, how has Halloween, which was the sexiest holiday, now become the most on? Uh, I can't believe it. I forgot that it was Halloween, and I put it at the cellar, and it's like That's coming a mistake. To a, yeah, it's like a war zone. How it's was horrible. it when you got down here? It, it, getting in was easy because, like, Liz was like, "Come, fr come from the east." She gave me, <laughs> Liz gave me fucking Viking directions. I love it. <laughs> when the city's ablaze, come from the east. <laughs> So it was easy getting in, but then getting out, it was like Sam Marill, Sean Donnelly. I think Norman was there. I was like, I'm going out. And I just like jumped into the ocean of people. It it's was just fucking that, brutal. Did you see anything crazy? Did you see like a titty hanging out or a girl crying? Uh, I think I was close to that. I think I got on the train right before that shit started happening. It's so PC now. Like, even my niece and nephew, like, they're, like, really, like, raised in this whole filter world. Like, <laughs> I asked my niece, I'm like, what are you going to go out for Halloween? She's like, a reusable bag. That's your going ass. <laughs> <laughs> what a boring ass costume. A helpful <laughs> Yeah, a don't, helpful don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> the reluctant costume person's always the asshole. You know what I mean? When you go, I'm, like, I'm a rolling. Pin. You're yeah. holding a rolling pin. I'm a rolling pin. I'm a rolling pin. It's just great to watch couples in fights dressed up. 
Oh, yeah. That's true. I was on the end train, and there was a, uh, a ghost that was being extra chilly to her raggedy Andy <laughs> boyfriend. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> it's not. just great when they break it where, they, where he just goes, I just don't know what I did, Ashley. And she's like... <sighs> <laughs> I mean, you're just sitting on the train and you're like, uh It's always great. It's always great too when the guys in like uh not in a feminine costume but one where it's funny to be like in a real fight with your chick where it's like, Come on, stop walking. Let me finish and he's wearing like a Spartans like you know like, yeah. like a skirt with a chest plate and he's holding a little sword and a thing like, Wait, just hang on. It's fucking <laughs> the only, mohawk. The, the only event that pa that like even comes close to comparison is uh, there's a thing called SantaCon here in New York. Yeah, yeah, it's the worst. Hate it. Oh, you don't like it? Yeah. <laughs> the Jews hate it. No, I, I see that as my. <laughs> I see that as my next job, Santa, department store Santa. I can totally see, like, a rough Are and ready Dave Santa. Mattel? He's like, what do you want? Nor Norman probably, Norman, as uh, a single guy, probably cleans up on those particular days. Like, SantaCon, fucking, uh... Santa Con. Norman, have you fucked an elf? Uh, well, it was a midget with pointy ears, but I don't know if it was an elf. <laughs> I did. Get, I did hook up on a uh, Halloween though. Yeah, that's what I was oh, so yeah. last night. Yes, yes. What, with a uh, dr was the woman dressed up? Oh yeah. What was she dressed up as? Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> ah, nice. I Too walked soon. into that one. <laughs> I walked right into that one. <laughs> By the I was way, outside I of. Uh, I saw outside of the stand last uh, Santa Con. There was a uh, an elf throwing up as her boyfriend Santa yelled at her. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. You got to get back there and make toys. <laughs> I told you, stop at three shots. She was, doing the, she was doing the thing where sick girls do where they go, stop yelling at me. And he's like, I'm just trying to get to the train. And she's like, ah. <laughs> You're not helping. Yeah. You're supposed to be worried about me. Santa Com. You know, as a Jew, we have no, uh, we have no equivalent. I guess uh, if you want to see like guys with beards dressed the same, you have to go to like B&H photo. And, uh, <laughs> Although, ah. I had to set it up myself. Jeez. Oh, although, how good does Hanukkah sound? Oh. Are you okay. ready to Hanukkah? <laughs> I know you guys are uh, both Jewish, but do we really need a stool for Jehovah? <laughs> Sorry, we're going to do different set designs, Mark. <laughs> We're limited on uh, think. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, what were the prizes earlier that you guys were giving out? Like what, stuff what? we made up on the spot. Just really. So, are there real prizes or no? Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's gonna really? come watch a bonfire. He gets to pick the music, and the third one is, uh, you know, you get to punch Jay and I in the dick. These are the prizes, <laughs> but it's got to be a double fisted. These punch. are like. You can't these, hear. No offense. These are like North Korean prizes. Yeah. You know, hey, yeah. you, you get, get to Google warm your, for an hour. <laughs> you get to warm your hands in a fire, and um, you get to watch me eat, and uh, you get to sleep inside the grand prize. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't. We we don't have merch yet. That's the whole thing. We got to get merch. There you go, dude. Yeah, I like it. it's yeah. coming. It's on its way. You guys have, uh, you know, we're gonna uh, make a, a deal. Go well, ahead. No, what were you going to say, Dave? No, that would be cool if you guys made your own dildo. That would no, be I was going to say dildo dog toys. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. No one even talked about well, that yet. I mean, we definitely owe. In New York, you have, your dog money. has to dress up in a Halloween costume, too. Is that, yeah? That's yeah, New York It's law? like a law, almost, that like your dog has to look fantastical for something he has no idea what the fuck it is. <laughs> Just a bunch of confused dachshunds? Yeah, exactly. And, uh... I don't know if you've seen Sadness, but that's what it looks like. I mean, uh... <laughs> is that the mascot for Sadness? <laughs> yeah. This my, may be... My dog is Narnia, and I'm just trying to hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> this is all the love I have. <laughs> is it animal abuse if you get two girl dogs, uh -oh. put a strap on dildo on one, and let it fuck the other dog? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. But what if they just do it? Uh, that is animal cruelty, But Jay. what if they just do it? I it's no more cool than putting, like, a vest on a dog. Yes, it is. You're putting a fake penis. They're not going to know what to do. They don't, I don't think they understand the concept of dildos. But if they so pick I think it's just going to drag it around. <laughs> also, is it a dog penis-sized dildo? Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So uh -huh. Red Rocket dildo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't think... I think dogs air hump only when they have penises. Do girls dog air, air hump? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> but by the way, Sorry, just, just I see that, that was <laughs> school. <laughs> uh, by the way, so just, you know, in my head, though, I, I, I wasn't picturing, like, the traditional, like, dog sex. I was picturing, like, full missionary. Like, one dog, really, with uh. the... <laughs> wow. <laughs> with, the, with the big chest out and the and feet they up. The one leg over? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Those dogs are having very sensual sex. <laughs> <laughs> Rub my balls with the tail. <laughs> Yeah, that's absolutely. Uh, but, you know, that's animal cruelty. You sure? Yeah. Not if the dog comes. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Mark Norman's willing to ask the questions. He's willing to ask the questions. What if the dog comes, Dan, you since you know so much? You know uh, it all, asshole? I will say it's still animal cruelty, right? Okay. Like, you were the one that was, like, the most energetic with your reaction. We are like, that is animal cruelty. But like, what if it's... She what seems if it's, like she's read a book about it. What if it's you like, read a book about it, or she's already done two months in Rikers for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's all sleeved up. She's like, yeah, I did hard time. <laughs> what if it's, like, an interspecies kind of incredible mashup of, like, uh, you know, dog on cat with owl watching? How about that? <laughs> It's gonna be a it's gonna be a category on lobster tubes. Yeah. <laughs> Type it in. We gotta get to it. I want to see a raccoon. I like lobster and a goose. <laughs> I like lobster because they really you you turned me on to that site because mm -hmm. it really does break it down. Yeah, it really does break it down for you. The category is great, but if you know what you want to see, if you're looking for real like like you know the category you're looking for, mm -hmm. as uh, Jacob we all learned, and I still adhere to this, buddy. Bing. The Bing search engine. Really? Yeah. If you type in what you want to see specific. Right. Specifically, you can't. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, here's what so though, but if you put in the word, see, it's, it's not a porn site. Mm -hmm. If you type in the word scat, you will have to go through 300 videos of a guy going, skip, bop, bop, skip, bop, skip, bop, skip, bop, skip, bop, skip, bop, skip, But that makes me come. That's fine. I like jazz. Uh, don't take Dave to the blue note. He'll cream all over himself. That's, <laughs> that's how lazy we've become. We've even taken the surprise out of porn. You know, like it has to like it be just like laid out for us. Oh yeah. Do you remember in the yeah. early days where you just go on a site and you're like, what? The, oh, oh, any, what the, any video what, at what all? Is that? Uh, but when, but Dan's right. A problem with lobster tube. I think you may have said this, but I've definitely had other people complain. Lobster tube's problem when you put the cursor on the picture doesn't move. It doesn't move forward to show you what's going to happen later. Mm. Come on, it's 2016. <laughs> I mean, the technology's in. The science is in. Everybody. If I'm looking for a TF session midway through a clip, I shouldn't have to watch the whole damn thing. Or we'll wait for it to buffer while you jump ahead. No. Uh, I'm a, yeah, I'll be frothing at the mouth by the time that video loads. Oh, uh, man, it's the worst, like, trying to use, watch porn on bad hotel Wi-Fi. I could tell you the hotels in the country that have bad Wi-Fi. Go through them. <laughs> Sacram We're calling you out. This is our hit em up. The Sacramento Punchline <laughs> Hotel? Sacramento Punchline Hotel. I actually don't mind that I've gotten porn at that one. Well, maybe, then maybe they've, well, that's, up they've upgraded. That's understandable, because in a town where they make porn, <laughs> why would they have it on? <laughs> Sacramento is a real do-it-yourself porn <laughs> yeah. kind of town. It's DIY you could porn. Just, you could just, like, drive through the jack-in-the-box right there, and you could see, like, a girl-on-girl -girl action. I mean, really. Did you, guys real Did you guys order to go to Wendy's off Santa Fe? <laughs> <laughs> Two chicks were going down on each other. <laughs> I, I love that club so much. Yeah. I, and historically, Great. the Wi-Fi there, like, the few times that I went. I mean, I'd, like, I'd, like walk away from my computer to get a little ahead of, to watch a Cleveland show episode. <laughs> So forget masturbate. That was off out, of, off out of the question. You don't have downloaded clips on your actual laptop? No. You don't either? Why? No. That's not crazy. I, don't act Dan. like I'm crazy. I'll, what? I'll give you pissing in a bomb. Dan, are you... Downloaded clips Why do you on my download? I used to have them. I, I covet them. Uh, they're my special clips. <laughs> That's your treasure box. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at my videos. That's what I call them. Well, ever since they put that filter up at McDonald's where you can't watch porn anymore. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> Move it, I just want to see the one guy who was really upset about that. Yeah. I want to see that guy like, Dude. oh, man, I can't yeah. eat and jerk at yeah. the same place. I need to have a McNugget in my mouth as I'm coming. <laughs> Next stop, Burger King. <laughs> You take your real chicken, chicken nuggets and shove them up your ass. I tried to do it, but you kicked me out of the play place. <laughs> the play place? Yeah. I called a McFlurry. Oh, oh finally. Someone's got a better way. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Dave Attell. Hey, Dave Attell. Thank guys. you so much for joining us, buddy. Thanks, We're going to take our last break. We're going to take our very last break. Mark Norman's out of here, too. Thank you very much, Mark. Mark for Norman, by. everybody. Hey, hey, we got our tell. last break. We'll be right back. It's the it's bonfire. The bonfire. <laughs> the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder, live from the Village Underground. Yeah. I feel like Stevie Nicks.
We're back. It's the Bonfire. Coming to the radio series XM95. Big J. Okerson. Dan Soder is indisposed right this moment. This is very exciting. We're getting, getting ready to bring you something uh, very unique here that we were excited for. We've been talking about this for a few weeks, and we were able to make this work out. And hopefully it's as hilarious as I believe it's going to be. If you're a, a listener of the show, you know that uh, several weeks back, just in the middle of the show, Dan started singing a song that was tickling me. It was tickling me so hard. Uh, I mean, I was gagging with laughter. And it turns out he sings this song so good, so much like the original song, that we actually received a cease and desist <laughs> to take down that licensed music which is not illegal to cover a song, but the algorithm in, in radio picked up that this was just the song we were playing. Well, they can cease and desist us, but what they cannot do to the bonfire, as you know, is stop us. So, I now present to you for the first time playing live, the Bonfire Band, everybody! And couldn't come to school But when he finally came back His hair had gone to black into bright white He said that it was from when the cars had smashed hard Everybody should join on that. Once there was this girl who wouldn't go and change with the girls in the change room. And when they finally made her, they saw birthmarks all over her body. She couldn't quite explain it, they'd always just buy in there. boy whose parents made him come directly home right after school and when they went to their church they shook and lurched all over the church floor they couldn't quite explain it they'd always just gone there Everybody get into it. Louis 
Kowalski, keep it going for Mark, Mark Norman, Norman, David Tell, Nate Bargatze, Bonnie McFarland, uh, and you motherfuckers. We love you, Kowalski. You're the best. We love you. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, you for coming so out. We'll see you soon. Crackle. 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 crackle.